like a rectangle or square with <laughs> What's up everybody welcome back to my channel this week's video is actually about this hoodie that i'm wearing right now i'm going to be doing a tutorial on how me and my mom made this hoodie out of an old thrifted blanket so with me i have these two knitted blankets first is just this white and blue pretty one and it has doves and hearts on it like right here um i almost don't want to cut this one up because i think it's so pretty but I know I would get more use and like wear out of it if I made it into something. And then I've got this one right here. It's just another fun pattern blanket one. And I can either choose mainly the blue side or mainly like the pink side. And I think I'm going to go with the pink because I have that blue one. Um, but my mom's going to be helping me throughout this video because I suck at sewing so bad. And I've tried to be open-minded and learn how to sew numerous times. For every time that I try, I just get so frustrated, which sucks. But I'm glad to have my mom help me with this. And I actually don't have a pattern for it. I just made this one out of a hoodie that I like. So if you're following along, grab a hoodie that you like the shape and size of. This is going to be my pattern. But yeah, I love this jacket. I wear it all the time. And I just think it's so cool and it has such a unique pattern. Like no one's gonna have the same jacket or hoodie as you. This is my first ever DIY video, so I'm super excited to see how it's gonna go. So grab your hoodie slash pattern and let's jump on into the tutorial. All right, starting off, you're just going to fold your tapestry blanket in half, as well as your hoodie. You're gonna fold that in half and line up the back seam of the hoodie with just the fold of the blanket and remember that your hoodie is probably a more stretchy material than the actual tapestry blanket so when you're leaving a seam allowance while you're tracing the hoodie out leave a little bit extra if you think that would be better to make it fit and remember to keep in mind whatever you want to be seen is what you should trace out so like for this blanket, it's really simple, but say if I were to do this blanket and I wanted the birds or the hearts to be like the main piece on the chest or the back area to lay your hoodie out on there so it would be seen. But this one doesn't really matter, so just lay it out however you want your design to be seen. Okay, and then while you're tracing it, just make sure to leave enough seam allowance to make a hem once you're sewing it. And for up by the shoulder and armpit area, you're going to fold over the sleeve and just trace like the actual bodice of the hoodie. So just like the general shape of that area, not the actual sleeve itself because those will come in later and have to be attached individually. But you're just going to trace that out and then cut it out. And we just used Sharpie to trace it out, but if you are worried you're going to make a mistake, then you can do like chalk or something, but these will most likely be hidden within the seams and the folds. And then once you cut this out, the front and the back are gonna be the same size and shape. So you can just use this as its own pattern once it's cut out for the back panel as well. And then you're gonna take the piece that you just cut out and flip it over on top to the other side of the blanket. So the two folds are lined up. Then you're just going to trace what you already cut out onto the other side. Okay, once you've cut both of them out, you can unfold them and line them up together. And so you're going to want to have your good side, aka the side that you want out, like facing the world. You want to put those together and then you can go ahead and sew the top, kind of like the shoulder pieces, but not the armpit holes because we have to make sleeves separately and attach those and then you can also sew these sides so basically skip the bottom you can sew this side skip the armpit and then you can sew the tops but skip the neck if that makes sense and obviously we are not a professional sewing channel so if you need an in-depth tutorial on how to sew maybe don't look here but just pin places you want to be held down and keep in mind that it's super thick material at least this blanket is a lot of the like um, tapestry blankets are super thick so keep in mind that you might need like a thicker needle for that so it doesn't break
Okay, once those are all sewed, I actually haven't done the sides yet, but once these are all sewed, it's just gonna look like this right side out. Kind of like a big vest, like a frumpy vest, but it'll, it'll all come together, trust me. And then we have to work on the sleeves. So let's go to that next. All right, and then next you're just going to trace out the arms and cut it out. And then I will show you guys how to sew those after you get both of them laid out on the blanket, traced and cut. All right, and then once you've got both of your sleeves traced and cut out, how you're gonna sew it is you wanna flip it to the bad side out. So if you want the pink to be your outside, you're gonna flip it to be the blue instead, and you're gonna sew it along here and here, but leave the two vertical sides open. Okay, this next part is hard to explain, but you're just going to flip the arms in right side out after you sew them together. And then you're going to take the sleeve side, like that part that goes by your wrist, and tuck it in first to the armpit of the bodice. And you're going to pull that through, and then you're gonna line up the armpit to armpit and shoulder to shoulder. And then you're just gonna sew that all the way around the circle, just the two layers, not all four together. So like, if that makes sense. And then you'll turn it right side out and your sleeves will be there. <laughs> and then once everything is sewn together, you can go ahead and fold over the edges to the sleeves in the bottom to hem them. Okay, and this is what you're left with, and you can either leave it at that just as a crew neck or add a hood to it. I think I'm gonna add a hood, but we have very minimal material left. That's all we've got, so it's gonna be a super small hood, but I think it would still work. You're just gonna make it a rectangle or a square with a rounded corner on one side, and then fold those two in towards each other. And then the part with the fringe is gonna be like face framing. So that's gonna be like the front of the hood. And then the rounded part is obviously gonna be the back of your head. You're just gonna wanna sew along the back of this line. And then I'll show you guys how to connect it to the actual hoodie. So to attach it to the actual hoodie, you're just going to center the middle of the actual hood to the middle of the hoodie. And then just sew along the outside until the end of the actual hood. And I'll show you the finished product. And then if you want to add a pocket like I did on my green hoodie, you're just gonna cut out a pocket hoodie shape. It really it doesn't have to be particular or anything. This is what we've got for this one. And you're just going to keep the sides open and sew along here and the bottom, but keep the vertical sides open for your hands. Alrighty, everyone, this is the final product. And I think it came out super good. But first thing I'm gonna say is make sure you get a big blanket and thin because this was so hard to sew through and we also didn't have enough fabric. Hence the tiny baby hood that just does not do justice. So it's there for the looks. Um, I'm gonna insert some footage of me and my mom just losing it over how small this stupid hood was. It was so funny. <laughs> Also, I dyed my hair between this video, and it's just a temporary dye, so it'll come out in three weeks, but I'm not sure how to feel about it. Um, so there's this hoodie, and we ended up making that other one, so let me show you that on. Okay, here's this other one, and I think it came out really good. This one's a lot thinner and softer than that last one, that one's so heavy. And I actually have enough hood space to use it as a real hood. I know it wasn't a super good tutorial and I'm definitely not a sewing master, which is why my mom did all of it and I'm so thankful for her for that. But I recommend watching another sewing video if you need to learn like the more basic stuff. I hope most of it kind of made sense. It was a fun experience doing my first DIY video, but let me know which hoodie you guys like better. 
I think they're both really cute and came out super good. And if you end up ever making this, you should tag me on Instagram or in my comments somehow. My Instagram is just Callie M. Rourke. I'll have it in my bio. Go out there and be creative. I hope you guys enjoyed the video overall and I hope you guys have an amazing week. Love you guys. Bye.